Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful and saving love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty and merciful God, that we may in truth receive a share in the resurrection of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The crowd in Philippi joined in the attack on Paul and Silas, and the magistrates had them stripped and ordered them to be beaten with rods. After inflicting many blows on them, they threw them into prison and instructed the jailer to guard them securely. When he received these instructions, he put them in the innermost cell and secured their feet to a stake. About midnight, while Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God 
as the prisoners listened. There was suddenly such a severe earthquake that the foundations of the jail shook. All the doors flew open, and the chains of all were pulled loose. When the jailer woke up and saw the prison doors wide open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself, thinking that the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted out in a loud voice, Do no harm to yourself. We are all here. He asked for a light and rushed in, and trembling with fear, he fell down before Paul and Silas. Then he brought them out and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you and your household will be saved. So they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to everyone in his house. He took them in at that hour of the night and bathed their wounds. Then he and all his family were baptized at once. He brought them up into his house and provided a meal. And with his household, rejoiced at having come to faith in God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Because of your kindness and your truth, you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Your right hand saves me, O Lord. I will send to you the Spirit of Truth, says the Lord. He will guide you to all truth. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Now I am going to the one who sent me, and not one of you asks me, Where are you going? But because I told you this, your grief, has filled your hearts. But I tell you the truth, it is better for you that I go. If I do not go, the Advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world in regard to sin and righteousness and condemnation. 
sin because they do not believe in me, righteousness because I am going to the Father and you will no longer see me, condemnation because the ruler of this world has been condemned. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, have you ever experienced nerve-shaking, nerve-wracking, and earth-shattering moments in life? Yung mga pagkakataon na niyayanig ang ating buhay. This is quite literal in our first reading today. Paul and Silas were in Philippi in Macedonia and they were imprisoned. And while they were in prison, there was an earthquake that shook the foundation of the jail. And mysteriously, because of the earthquake, Paul and Silas were released. But it was also earth-shaking for the Roman jailer who was tasked to guard the prison. When he realized that Paul and Silas were released, he thought that it would be taken against him by his superiors. And so he attempted to kill himself because it would only show his incompetence. Baka dahil sa nangyari, dahil nakalaya yung kanyang mga binabantayan, ay matanggalan siya ng trabaho, masira ang kanyang kinabukasan, at masira na rin ang buhay ng kanyang pamilya. It was, it, it was earth-shaking for this jailer. And yet, in the end, what happened was something that was positive. What the jailer thought was the crumbling down of his life became the source of faith in Jesus. Nung niyanig ng Diyos ang kanyang buhay, dinala siya ng Diyos sa tunay na pinagmumulan ng kanyang kaligtasan, si Jesus. And so he and his whole family, his whole household, were baptized. They believed in Jesus. In our gospel today, the disciples must also have experienced earth-shattering moments, especially when they heard Jesus say that He is going to leave them. Nasanay na silang kasakasama si Jesus. Si Jesus na ang kanilang seguridad. They must have felt secured with Jesus. And now Jesus is telling them, I am going to leave you. Nakakayanig kaya iyon na yung taong inaakala mong nagbibigay sa iyo ng seguridad, nagbibigay sa iyo ng katiyakan, ay mawawala, mayayanig talaga ang iyong buhay. But Jesus said, It is better for you if I go. Because if I go, I will send you the Holy Spirit who will be an advocate to you, a protector and defender to you. The Holy Spirit will be the one to give you security. The Holy Spirit will be the source of your salvation. 
My dear brothers and sisters, I am sure many times in our lives, we have also experienced earthquakes that shook the very grounds, the very foundations of our life. Maraming beses din na akala natin kampante na tayo, panatag na ang ating buhay, mapayapa na ang lahat, secured na tayo, biglang mayayanig ang lahat, biglang susubukin ang lahat. Earth-shaking moments come. All of a sudden, we lose our jobs. We or someone we love get sick. We, fa we come face to face with death. All of a sudden, our future becomes blurred. We do not know what will happen. In reality, this pandemic, the experience of, his, of this pandemic is earth-shaking and nerve-wracking. Niyayanig tayong lahat. Nawala ang lahat ng ating siguridad. Nawala ang lahat ng ating inaakalang pagmumulan ng ating kaligtasan. But these earthquakes in life, these earth-shaking moments in life are just ways to help us discover where our true security and salvation lie, only in God. When the Roman jailer, what, what the Roman jailer thought was the crumbling down of his life and of his family, in fact, triggered the gift of faith in Jesus. The same is true, is true with us. When things seem to fall apart, believe that God is actually putting things in their proper places. Before ascending into heaven, Jesus promised us another helper like himself to be with us. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That our pastors may totally dedicate their lives to the preaching of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that parents and teachers may become living examples of faith to those under their care. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may give our best to do what is right, and may God's word be a living power influencing our actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that we may show compassion to the elderly, the lonely, and the sick. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may find rest and new life in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Father, giver of all gifts, grant us your spirit in abundance that we may live holy lives and work for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Hear, our pr hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. 